Hi guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to do a makeover to our half bathroom. This is how it looks now. If you want to see the final result, keep watching. Okay, so what's the first thing we're gonna do? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the doors off the cabinets so we can get them ready for sand and paint. And we're also gonna take out this hideous toilet, toilet paper. Yeah, toilet paper thingy holder. holder. So there we go. Okay, we're going to be removing all the hinges from the door as we're going to be reusing them after. You can place them all in a Ziploc bag so you don't lose any part. This is the color we chose. It's from Lowe. Uh, we bought a sample because we didn't know if we were going to like it. That's the color and it's called... I see avalanche. So we would just get a sample, so we'll see if the whole sample is gonna last us. If not, we'll just make a quick run to Lowe's. Alright, so we have this orbital sandal here from Bauer. Bought at Harbor Freight for like $35. Nothing too expensive, uh, nothing too fancy either. Get the job done. And we're gonna start off with the 80 grit sandpaper disc. Try to get as much of this uh coating and veneer off so let's get to it forget to do your bottom part um, the center doesn't fit so we have to do it by hand by hand and same thing on these little detailed areas so all right so I'm gonna give it a second pass with the sander but this time using a 120 grit sandpaper and it's just to smooth it out a little bit more than what it already is after you're done with all the sanding, you want to make sure you clean any residue before you paint. Because if you paint over it, it's not going to look smooth. You're going to have little bumps here and there. And you don't have to use a vacuum. Uh, a broom will work great as well. So for the little corners that you can reach with the sander, we're going to be using uh, the sponges, 120 and 180. Make sure that you do the same thing for the doors uh, and you use the vacuum. And after that, you can do a wet rag. Don't use uh, paper towels because it did not work for us. It was horrible, we had residue everywhere. So just use a towel, it will work best. Now we're moving over to the paint. Uh, we're using a roller, it's called actually a cabinet roller. I really like how it came out, um, the texture, it was smooth. We ended up doing two coats. So we did one coat, let it dry, and then we did the second coat, and then we turned it around and did the same thing. And while we left uh, the doors to dry, we went back to the bathroom and did the cabinet. For the corners that the roller couldn't reach, uh, we used a brush. The only thing I didn't like about the brush that he left the strike. So what I did is I went over with the brush and after that I smoothed it out with the roller. And then it was nice and smooth and you couldn't see any lines. 
And don't forget to tape everything down. It might take a time, it's time consuming, but at the end it's easier, it's more of a clean job and it's less of a cleanup. Here you see Olivia, she was ready to paint and help daddy and mommy paint the cabinet. Make sure you patch any holes uh, from the cabinet because you don't want to have that hole once you go over with the paint. We couldn't find the spatula, so the finger, <laughs> we had to use our fingers and it did uh, it worked great. After it dried, Chris went over with the sander and it was nice and smooth. Okay guys, so Chris got a little ahead of himself. He already took the lighting feature off. That's the new one. And that's the old one. So while we wait for um, the doors to dry, we're gonna retouch the paint. Uh, paint that and just a uh, few things here and there that need to be retouched. And now we're just gonna put the wire nut in. Black with black and white with white. All right, nice and tight. And that is white, it's just paint from the previous owner. We're just gonna wrap our ground wire right around here and tighten that down. Push these back their spot. Then these two nuts here are going to be coming out through the front fixture, which is what's going to hold it in place. And then these are the little nuts decorative nuts that go on to hold it. And voila, that's how you change a light picture. So these stainless steel lines here, um, you have red on one and blue on the other one. So hot and cold. So you just put them where they need to go. And this side goes to the faucet. This side goes to the water line. And that's it. Just screw them on. And what is that, babe? What's that? Oh, that's a uh, plumber's putty that shouldn't even be there. 
Uh, that's way too much. So I would have to get all that out so that I could change the pop-up drain as well. No leak. No leak. So now that we have our new faucet uh, installed, we are changing uh, the doorknobs. Since we have two um, different ones here in this bathroom, since we have the, the AC closet, Chris changed both um, so they get all match. Okay, so here's our here are the cabinet. They turned out pretty cool. We did two layers. Two, two layers and we sand them in between and I love it. We changed the knobs. Okay guys, this is the final result of the uh, cabinet. Uh, we both really like how it came out. The color is nice, it looks super smooth. Yeah, we love it. You like it? I like it. That's Chris trying to get the mirror out. <laughs> what are you going to do to the mirror? Sand it down and give it another paint. We're going to try to fix this little detail. It's kind of stained too. Yeah. Okay, this is a quick rant. Don't you hate when they do this? Like, why don't you put it at the bottom? Why do you have to put it right here? When it's probably gonna like leave the glue comment below if you hate that too so after we took the mirror out we could see the previous color that was in the bathroom so we went over with a fresh coat then we moved back to the mirror we sanded it down and then chris spray painted it white so it was nice and smooth and you couldn't see any of the previous uh dents that uh you could see before so we're finishing everything up i'm gonna retouch the boards uh give it just a fresh coat of white So we really loved our sander so we were like why not let's just sand the whole door so here we are sanding the whole door and then we spray painted it with our uh, spray gun we got that at Amazon I'm gonna go ahead and link it below it worked really good we finally got our floors um, they took about like a week and a half to get here we're gonna do floor pops um, it's just a pill and a stick vinyl floor towel so all you do is you peel and you stick it. They were really an, um, inexpensive. We paid $20, it was like 18 something, almost $20 for two packs. Each uh, box brings 10 tiles. Um, so let's see how they turn out. Uh, we're gonna first clean the floors. They have to be really clean uh, and then we're gonna stick them. So yeah, here we go. Okay, so I first went over with the broom, try to get everything from the little corners and from behind the tub. The I'm sorry, not the tub, the toilet. And then after that, I went over with the Dyson to make sure I got whatever was left over from the broom. And after that, I went over and mopped, waited till it dried, and actually did it one more time. And then after that, I went one more time with the Dyson just to make sure uh, there was nothing on the floor because if the floor is not completely clean, it will not stick and if it's thick it's not going to stick completely and it will rise eventually so before you actually start uh sticking it to the floor you want to lay them out make sure to see where they're going to go um since this is a pattern you want to make sure every single 
tile matches the design because if you just put whatever it's gonna look kind of off so again we were just matching and see where everything was gonna go and then after that uh, we started a little bit by little and so on and then when we got to the corners and to the trim Chris what he did he drew it on the paper first and then he went over it and with a utility knife he cut the tile um, overall I would say put in the floor uh, the pop towel was easy it was just time consuming when you had to go around the corner from the toilet and again in the corners um, but we really like how it turned out and again we ordered them from Amazon they were really affordable they had a bunch of designs so I would suggest if you're trying to do a small renovation either like a laundry room or makeup room look them up they have really nice designs So are you almost done? Yep, almost. How did you like installing the pop tile thingies? It was easy. It's easy? Except the corners where you have to trim. Almost done. Okay, we are down with the bathroom. Uh, it took us about two weeks um, and that was mainly because we were waiting for uh, the floor to get here, the towel rack, oh, it's finally done, so here's the big reveal. So we're going to walk you through uh, and show you everything we changed. So we got a new soap dispenser. Soap dispenser new faucet and we got it off amazon i'm gonna be linking everything we purchased in the descriptions little room diffusers so the bathroom can smell good new towels a toilet paper holder trash can little details like this one because if you remember the one we had was uh, yellow and white <laughs> it was pretty old keep i kept the shelf just got a, a new plant light fixture doorknobs yes so doorknob chris actually as uh, you saw he sanded the door and he uh did a new uh white coat so it looks nice and soft of course this amazing floor that we loved chris would you recommend uh installing the pop floors i would that's the new cabinet what's well, not new but with uh new paint new paint and new Dot knobs hardware knobs. yes so. and yeah overall we're really happy with the result say hi chris hi <laughs> we really like the bathroom uh we kept it under we were able to keep it under 400. 400 um so yeah we loved it hope you guys like it if you don't like it comment below what you would change and if you do like it comment below as well so we're really happy how the bathroom turned out um subscribe to our channel as you can see this is our first uh renovation uh makeover video uh we are gonna work on some new videos uh, around the house so subscribe um and yeah did you want to say anything so oh, subscribe and hit the thumbs up button yay well he's the quiet one i'm more of like the loud talkative one <laughs> again thank you so much guys so I wanted to add that all the decoration, uh, we got it at Home Goods, um, and I just wanted to say thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, subscribe and be on the lookout. We are going to be doing new videos pretty soon. Bye, guys.